Hey everybody, today we have a Medico uh, biaxial UL rated mortise cylinder. Uh, the UL rating means that it uh, has special anti-drilling protections, uh, mainly a couple of steel pins embedded right in front of the actual uh, kit pins that interact with the keys. So it makes it harder to drill the shear line. Uh, and I was, I've been working on this for a long time and just earlier today I uh, found a, an interesting little trick that seems to be working pretty well on this. Now this is an older model, it doesn't have ARX pins, it doesn't have false gates, uh, so it's a lot easier than some of the very new ones, uh, particularly you know compared to the M3, which is the current uh, generation. But basically the way it works is you take a, a Bogota style rake, just shift the pins around, and we're going to insert a pry bar style tension tool and put very heavy tension on. And we're going to rake back and forth, pushing uh, up and to the side, and just making sure that we get the entire uh, set of pins, all five of them because what we're trying to do here, uh, and we're putting uh, counterclockwise tension on, by the way, because that supposedly uh, engages the sidebar first, and when we rake along the sides of the keyway, uh, supposedly this will cause the key pins to get stuck uh, in rotated to the correct position. So that feels like they're all locked up pretty solidly. Now the next bit is you have to go in and very carefully so as not to disturb the rotation of the pins, uh, use a hook to lift all the key pins. Oh, look at that. So what I was going to say is you have to use the hook to lift each of the key pins to the shear line without actually uh, without actually uh, uh, disturbing them or rotating them. So, let's put that vise aside and I'll show you just what's inside this thing. So, uh, we're going to take a screwdriver here and, oh, uh, that's not so great. But it's okay, I've got a key for it. There we go. Undo these screws. This is v very definitely a second-hand cylinder because even the uh, screws for the tailpiece don't match each other. But that's the tailpiece off now. We're going to need a key. As you can tell, it's a rather old one. And we're going to use this. Uh, i got to make sure it's unlocked. There we go. So now it's unlocked. And we're going to push in with the follower. And you'll see right here, this is the sidebar coming out. So you need to keep your finger on that because that is spring-loaded. And it will push and it will fall out if you're not careful. So now we're going to drop the uh, sidebar there with its springs. And let's try, come on, okay, all right, so that's pin four, pin two, pin one, and you can see how each of them has a small gap in the side. That deep one is uh, where the, the teeth on the sidebar actually fit in and then it has this very shallow one 
that's supposed to uh, foul you up if you're trying to manipulate them manually. That's a false gate. And then it has on the other side a little flag, just a little metal bit sticking out here uh, to keep it from turning too far. And up top, we have a standard, a standard, a standard, standard, and another standard. Now this is pretty unusual for a Medico. Typically they have uh, some spool pins in there, and on some higher security versions they'll even make most of the standard pins out of steel, uh, and only the mushroom pins will be made out of brass. But that's what's inside one of these old Medico biaxials. So, until next time, have fun and happy picking.